Hi guys, my name is Star and welcome back to my channel. And, to and today we are going to be talking about my decade project. So my decade project is something that I've talked a lot about on my Instagram, but I've never really formally introduced it or talked about it here on my YouTube channel. We're gonna be fixing it. I've done most of the work already off camera because it took forever. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Like my fillers aren't made properly. And then some of the ones aren't actually like finished being made yet but this took me like hours to do, um, just this part. So we're not gonna be completely fixing it. What we're gonna do instead, or what I'm gonna do instead is I have already fixed it compared to the last time you've seen it on my channel. And we're just gonna go over all the things that I already have photo cards for to start, like that I'm using to like kickstart this project. So if you don't know what my decade project is, it is a project that I started. So I got into K-pop in 2014. I didn't start collecting in 2014, but I got into K-pop in 2014. And so I decided recently, once I realized like it's gonna be 10 years since I liked K-pop, or started listening to K-pop, started liking K-pop, and you know, that kind of thing. Um, actually next year will be year number 10. So I was like, it would be really cool if I did like 12 songs or 12 albums for each year. Um, and like, just kind of collect everything from that like album, like all the album inclusions, well, all the photo card album inclusions, because I don't collect non, non photo card size things and like the album and like as something to commemorate like that comeback and those songs from those years that I really enjoyed. And so this is going to be the binder where I put everything in. It, that's kind of like the basic overview of it. There were some specific rules that I gave myself. And if you guys want to know about those, I can make talk about them in the next video. But for today's video, we're going to just like put in all the cards for the albums that I already have cards from and just kind of talk about like why I chose those or the ones that I chose in general. I don't have anything from 2014 yet but we start with 2015 and I will be collecting Infinite H's um, Pretty Girl album or Fly High, I guess it's the Fly High album. And I do have this one trading card for it. The album itself comes with these hollow cards, one for both, Do there's one for Dongwoon, there's two for each, and then you get either Dongwoon or, or Hoya in your album. Um, I bought the album from a friend of mine and it comes with a Dongwoon photo card. Um, and I'd so I just need, to get Hoyas and to fill out the page nicely since I was gifted. I'm pretty sure I was gifted this by my um, friend on Instagram. Um, this trading card, I decided to collect one more from Dongwoon and two for Hoya just to like make this page look a little bit nicer instead of just having like two photo cards on a page. Um, the next thing that I already have is Rewook's Little Prince album. If you know anything about me, I'm obsessed with The Little Prince. It's actually like my favorite book of all time. It is one of my favorite things ever. And so anything involving The Little Prince is also one of my favorite things. And this specific Rework album is fantastic. It's amazing. I love this and I love um, Rework a lot. So I will be collecting this for my decade project. It only has two photo cards for the album. So I'm gonna do them in like this diagonal pattern and like do fillers for the rest of it, I think. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for now. I just stuck the one that I have up here. I just need one more for this one and I'll be complete with this for my decade project. I also think this is 20... Oh, I should have wrote down all the years. I think this is 2016. So I only have one thing for 2016 out of the 12 things that I will be collecting. At least photo card wise. Some of the albums that I will be collecting for my decade project, I will say, don't have any photo card size inclusions and therefore I'm not collecting anything outside of the album for it. Um, maybe I can do a video later where we go, where I talk specifically about what I'm collecting for each year, but not at the, we're not doing that at the moment. Um, I believe next we're in 2017 and we are going to be collecting, one of the things that I'm going to be collecting for 2017 is The War or Power of Music. I loved this song so much when it came out. I love this concept a lot. This is what made me like interested in XO. I really, really enjoyed this comeback of this album. It's one of my favorites, still one of my favorites from XO. It's probably my favorite from XO, like just in general. Also, oh no, there's like something on my sleeve. Okay, I might have to replace this sleeve because there's like ink or something on it. But yeah, I actually traded somebody for these. So that's how I got these because I don't even own this album yet. So it's not like an album. Also in 2017, I will be collecting 
Oh My Girls coloring book and I have this photo card from it. This is actually the one I pulled in my album and I accidentally traded for it. So I have two of the same photo card for coloring book. So if anybody wants this card and wants to trade me, check out my trades and sales Instagram. But I have this one set up for where the limited cards will go on here. And then like the regular cards will go here in like a seven spread. And I think that will look the best. So for my decade project, if I wanted to include an old group, I there were a few rules. One, I could only do one thing per old group. I could only include one album per old group or per per group that I collect. Second thing was when it comes to my old groups and deciding whether to include them into my decade project or not, it w I decided it based off of how much I collect for them already. So originally SF9 was not a part of my decade project because I collected like OT9 for them. But now that I've gone down to not collecting OT9 for them, I'm gonna collect Osolo Mio for my decade project. So that way I can still have Osolo Mio because it's a very important era for me in terms of like SF9 and collecting and all that fun stuff. But I'll just do it in a seven pattern because obviously my Young Bin and my Dan Wong cards will stay in my SF9 binder. So we have these two so far. And then I have these two for the other version of the cards from the album. So yeah, that's SF9. And I did my best to stick with like that kind of like rule for all the groups I collect. So like like Gugadon since I collect full group and twice since I collect full group, there's no, they won't be a part of my decade project just because I already collect full group. Um, next we're in 2018 and we're starting off with Unity. So I actually used to collect Unity. I only collected Hyojung for it. And so I'm gonna keep her cards. I'm gonna put like her line cards in the middle and then all the, cause I decided to collect I Mean. I'm gonna keep all the I Mean cards since only eight of the members out of the nine participated. And then Hyo Jung will be in the middle to like make it a nice complete pocket. So, so far I have Unji, Ye Bin, and Hyo Jung for the yellow back cards. And then I have Hyo Jung and Unji for the pink back cards. Then we get into UMB who I decided to collect Boyhood for, and I am going to be doing both the limited edition of Boyhood and the regular edition of Boyhood. So there's a lot of photo cards for that. And I have a few of them here. So first we start out with the like regular, like I'm calling these the more like selfie version of their photo cards from the regular version of Boyhood. And then the regular edition of Boyhood also came with like these MB, I call them like the NB scene cards. And I have three of those. I have Marcos, I have Field Dog, and I have Day Ones. And that's all for Boyhood. And then another thing that I'm collecting, so 2018 is the one that I think I have the most like photo cards for in terms of at the moment. The other thing that I will be collecting for 2018 is um, I will be collecting Love Bomb by From Is Nine. And I really, really love love bond it was probably my favorite song that year honestly but it's between that and i mean from unity which one's my favorite song from that year but um yeah the girl groups killed it that year i have this one card that i got in a trade and then i will also be co collecting summer magic and i collect will be collecting wendy not wendy <laughs> i'll be collecting yaddy and joy now um, from just my regular collections. So I'm only gonna have OT3 and my Decade Binder, which works out perfectly for Summer Magic because it completes a nice little page. And we're just gonna slide Sulgi in just like that. This is the one I pulled in my um, regular edition of the album. Also 2018, we have Chunga's Blooming Blue. And I have only one card that I'm missing for this. And this will be my first like complete thing, like photo card and album set for my decade project. I have the other card. It's just in a top loader that I decorated that's somewhere else in my house right now. Um, and I don't feel like getting it, but I do technically have this card. So I just slid a sleeve back in there for it. Also, this is now, I believe 2019. No, no. I just want to be in 2018, I'm pretty sure. So this is still 2018. So like I said, I have a lot for 2018 and I'll be collecting eyes one. I collect Yari, Sakura and Yenna's eyes one cards in general now 
So this will just be the other uh, nine members. And I will be keeping all the unit cards, like all the unit cards in this, in my decade project binder, but I just haven't figured out how to organize it. And I only have this one at the moment. So I'm just gonna stick it on the back, but all their selfies will be on the front. And then all the unit cards will be on the back. Next we have, still in 2018, we have Hot Shots Early Flowering that I will be collecting. I love this album so much. It is such an underappreciated album. I miss Hot Shot a lot. They made really good music. And I have my pulls from the album that I got. And that is all I have for Hot Shot at the moment. So next we'll be moving into 2019, I'm pretty sure. And the, one of the things that I have already for 2019 is I'm going to be collecting Nature's I'm So Pretty. And I have this one Loha card for it. And I'm just gonna put it for the fourth set. And we'll slide her in right there. Um, also for 2019, I will be collecting Baekhyun's um, UN Village because this album is so fantastic. It's one of my favorite K-pop albums of all time. And I do have this one card from my photo, like my poll. This set you guys have seen a lot. I've just finally put it in the right binder. This is great guys. Um, you're not alone chapter two or is it chapter one i don't remember um it came with the complete ot9 set so that it was perfect for me in this collection so i finally put it in the right binder next we have 20 2020 or is this 2021 i think it's 2020 and we have Fasas maria and this is the card that i pulled in my album so i will be collecting this as well and there's 10 cards so i'll fill do a nine page spread in my and the 10th card will just go on the back because I don't know what else to do with the 10th card. This is the section of my binder where I haven't actually fixed it all the way yet, as you can see. But for 2021, one of the things I will be collecting is Itzy's Crazy Love. So from what I can tell, it looks like it's gonna work out to do like one complete nine pocket page for each of the members. And I have one Yuna card at the moment. So that's supposed to go, so yeah. So you know, we'll go here. And it's just this one. I'm pretty sure I traded for this with somebody. And then here's where we get to the things that are like kind of out of order. Like they're not actually in order like they're supposed to be. Um, one of the things that I will be collecting is IOI's What a Man album. I will be collecting all the photo cards from it. I just have this one, Nae Young, at the moment. So we're just gonna put her in the middle. Um, she doesn't go here. I'm pretty sure this goes with 2017. I just haven't finished organizing everything. And another thing that goes with 2021 is Purple Kisses Zombie. I do collect Taehyun in Ire now. So the other members will go in here. And Purple Kiss has seven members, so there will be only five. So I'll be doing five pocket spray spreads for this. And there was four cards, I believe, in total. Um, and I'm gonna put the one that I have for Swan down here at the bottom as the last one. And yeah, so that is my decade project binder this is what it looks like now with everything that i have currently and my starting of making the fillers it's honestly still a hot mess it's still not that great it still needs a lot of work and i didn't really i don't really know what to talk about or how to explain this project to people if you have any questions or like would like me to do any specific like videos about what my decade project is and you know explain it in more detail do let me know i guess that's all for today's video it was a very short one um i'm not actively like super super working on this collection i just have the wish list for all these albums up on my instagram i just have all these wishes wish lists uploaded on my instagram at the moment so that way if people want to trade with me they're allowed to they can trade with me um outside of that i just i haven't been working on this yet obviously my normal collections come first they're priority for me and then this is a little like fun side project that i can work on when i'm like done collecting all my stuff for my other groups but yeah i'm gonna stop talking now because i feel like i'm just rambling at this point thank you for watching my video guys thank you for all the support on my channel recently I am getting very, very close to 100 subscribers and I am so excited about that. I never thought I would reach 100 subscribers, honestly. Like, that is so insane to me. Lately, like, when I go and open, like, my YouTube app up, like, I will see that, like, I've gone up, like, a subscriber almost, like, once a day. And that's, like, absolutely insane to me and I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy the content that I put out. I know it's not always... Like consistent or the best but i really really genuinely do try my best and i am so grateful for any support that you guys give to me 
Um, yeah, but that's it for me for real this time. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep collecting. Bye guys!